No Rain by uh, Blind Melon. And Ustream slapped my, YouTube slapped my hand for uh, copyright violation. So I have to make sure and stop the music before we start recording. But that's in the red. Why is that in the red? That shouldn't be in the red. What, are, what, can, what microphone are we using? Uh, what microphone are we using? Pause. Mm, stop. Audio input. Audio device. Ah, that might be why. Riveting. All this stuff I could have been doing before we started. There. There. How's the sound now? Is it as loud? Is it painfully loud? And <laughs> Maybe he's already a little buzzed. No, it's not technical difficulties. It's just I failed to change the microphone before I started. Some for some reason when we lose when we lose electricity, all the settings go back to um, default. So I forgot to set them back. Okay, okay, good. The sound is good. So we're recording. We're recording here. I know this is riveting, riveting entertainment. What a really good, really good show for you. Really good, riveting. So we're recording there, we're recording there, we're recording there, we're recording everywhere that we can re be recording. Uh, yeah, yeah. Move that out of the way because it was covering the chat. Okay. Woo. See, I have water, I have brushes, I have paints, I have coffee. What were we talking about? We were talking about something. Oh, going to, uh, going to uh, karaoke. Yeah, I've gone to karaoke, especially at the wife's school. They have, uh, they usually have karaoke at just about any function they have, like a party, like a, a retirement party or a Christmas party or whatever. They usually have karaoke, and you know, there's not. It is a Catholic school, but I'm not going to get wasted in front of my wife's colleagues. So, don't over chat. What are we over chatting? Oh no, don't cover chat. I, I got, yeah, I got to be able to see what you guys are saying because I don't have a producer anymore. And Brighton's in the chat room telling, mocking me. Anyway, um. So yeah, they're they're also going on in the chat room about you know get me drunk and take me to karaoke. You don't have to get me drunk and take me to karaoke. I go to karaoke. I am woman, hear me roar, and numbers too big to. You don't have to get me drunk and take me to karaoke. I love it. Um, okay, back to what I was doing. I've got the book. I've got coffee with you know rum in it. I've got uh, paintbrushes. I I've got. Jeez, I'm trying to break myself of the habit. It gets worse every time. Uh, I have water with a little bit of shampoo and conditioner in it to keep my brushes supple. Um, what don't I have? The kids aren't going to be here. They may be here later. Uh, the little girl has soccer tryouts yesterday, today, and tomorrow. She has soccer tryouts to see if she can make it to the A team. That'd be awesome if she does. It'd be a great uh, esteem booster. But, uh, you know, even if she makes it to the D team, we'll still be proud of her. Because um, it's, you know, fun going to watch her play. Um, so yeah, I think uh, think we have everything to start. I washed my hands. You can't tell. All right. Uh, APG. Kelly's here. Boudreaux's here. Look at all the people sneaking in. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, take your headphones off. Hello and welcome to this week's issue of the Artistic Biker live from the back porch. Hope everybody's doing okay. I know I'm doing okay. I have been, you know what, uh, woke up this morning at 4 o'clock so that I could get everything ready and go to the airport because I was in North Dakota this morning uh, and went to the airport, hung out at the airport for all day long. Came home just enough time to start the music and get this going. So, there's a little heavy breathing going on. A little heavy breathing. The only thing, the only thing that uh, uh, I got was I got a, I got a, a buy five uh, energy drink, antioxidant energy drink. So I, I may be jittering. That stuff's good stuff. It's like green tea and coffee fruit. Uh, with this one had coconut juice in it. It's good stuff. Anyway, um, 
So I, 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 let's get the intro to the YouTube video done. I want to talk about going to North Dakota a little bit. We'll get the intro to the YouTube video done, and we'll uh, we'll come back and talk more about it on the other side. Okay. What are you people on about in the chat room? Oh, you're just saying hi to each other. Okay. You know what, I need this down here where I can get to it. But I need it out of the way so that the paint doesn't get on it. My, the mouse doesn't work very well once the paint gets on it. In fact, Nomadic Rose rum does cure what ails you. Why is rum gone? Okay. I have my own little cheering set. That makes me feel so proud. All right, here we go. Look out, kitty. Hello, peoples. <laughs> Welcome to this week's edition of the Artistic Biker. Last time on the Artistic Biker, I had been to Odessa, Texas, where they have a life-size rendition of Stonehenge. And when I was dancing around the Stonehenge, it brought to mind that scene in This is Spinal Tap, where the dwarf is on stage dancing around the 18-inch high uh, replica of Stonehenge. And so, you know, I thought, turn it up to 11 and the, and the lyrics to Stonehenge. And oh, how they danced, the little people beneath the haunted moon. So that was last week. This week, however, uh, I've been escaping the rains by going up north, and I want to journal a little bit about it. So with that, I'm just going to turn the page and get started. Ooh. Ooh, paint leakage. This is what happens when the paint leaks between the pages. It's okay. We're going to gesso it. Just don't want to tear my page. But I want the book to open. There we go. Oh, All right. So, yeah, I went to North Dakota. Because, you know, uh, day job stuff. Apparently there's lots of damsels up there. What needs saving? I just had my knife. I just had that knife that I used to stir my water with here. Because, you know, apparently there's lots of, lots of damsels up in North Dakota that need saving. Because when you get a damsel in a dress, by God, there's nobody get a damsel out of a dress faster than tight and buff. What are you talking about? Rum and... No, I didn't put any rum and coke. You put the lime in the coconut. Sorry, what were we talking about? Oh, no, this buy drink. They're talking about me drinking that buy drink in the chat room. Uh, it's... Uh, I don't know if it's an energy drink or not. It's sweetened with st stevia? Stuvia? I drank it while I was waiting for the coffee to brew because I was dehydrated and it sounded really good because it was coconut juice, coconut flavored. I like coconut milk. I prefer coconut milk with rum, but didn't do that. But by God, I might. That was good. All right. There we go. That's good coverage. Let me uh, let me dry this real quick. We'll take a little break. We'll be well. You know I'm gonna chat with you all the way through. <laughs> I'm a superhero. Right, I'm a, I'm a superhero. I saved damsels in his dress. Go by the superhero named Titan Buck. Paula, there's Paula sneaking in. I see Paula sneaking in. Hi, Paula.
see people, I see people on the interwebs all the time, uh, talking, saying, saying this or that about their, their day jobs. And, um, you see it all the time where somebody, somebody will say something and then the next thing you know, they're, they're unemployed. And, uh, my day job has HR personnel. So I would just, uh, I would just as soon keep that completely separate. So I, I usually just tell people I'm a superhero. But if you follow me on, on, uh, Facebook every now and then you'll get a glimpse of what I do in my day job. All right, what are we doing here? Let's, we, need, we need a plan. Last week, we got accused of not having a plan because, you know, we didn't have one. <laughs> it's not, not our style. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's get a background going here. Woo. Get a little bit of this. Oh, that's plenty of that. There's way more of that than I really needed. I'll let you guys watch what happens there. And we'll get a little, bit, a little bit of this over here, like that. Like that, a little bit like that. And there's nothing real exciting with this. This is riveting entertainment. Where's my spray bottle? Did my dogs chew up my spray bottle? No, it's right here. I found my, come up some of my brushes outside. My little dog's here going to get in trouble. Nice and simple. Nice and simple. Keep it simple. So, uh, so yeah, we've been having quite a bit of rain. So much rain that we developed a sinkhole in uh, in our downtown, right across the street from the radio station. Did, I, did we talk about that at all last week, or did that happen? In the meantime, did I show you guys pictures of the of the uh, sinkhole. That's pretty scary. That will work. Here, let me show you the let me show you the pictures of the sink of the uh, sinkhole real quick. Cause you know rabbits, right? Gotta spell it right. What? Guy, I went to the wrong place. Can't type. Can't get my fingers to fit on the keyboard. I want to show you the best picture of the sinkhole in Chickasha is the one where. Well, I'll just show you the one. I'll just show you the one here where uh, where they're both together. Let me change cameras. Change cameras. So check this out. This pickup, this white pickup here, fell into this sinkhole, I think it was, and then a, a, uh, a, a tow truck came and fell into this sinkhole trying to pull the white pickup out. So they ended up, ended up coming over here with a crane to lift them both out. But 
I mean, they're not very big. They're just deep. And, you know, you're driving along, and then all of a sudden you're not driving along anymore. <laughs> you know, that's, that's scary. You know, you're just all of a sudden swallowed up. But, you know, we just had that much rain. Ah. We just had... Uh, We've just had that much rain. There's pictures of uh, this guy was this guy was ski boating, sky or uh, jet skiing in uh, on one of the main streets in Chickasha, America, here where I live. So that's a lot of rain, and and there's some pipes under the street that it washed that got washed away and caused those sinkholes, but. What we have is we have a town full of uh, prohibition tunnels, and the uh, you know the 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 the, pro, the prohibition tunnels just uh, uh, they're all through town. So not only do we have these pipes that these these new drainage pipes that are being washed away because it, the the river flooded its banks, but we have these prohibition tunnels that are being flooded at people's at people's homes. So. Uh, Yeah, get the boats out. The people on chat room saying, "Get the boats out." And if you're, hey Rain, if you're not not familiar with what a prohibition tunnel is, you know, they would sneak the rum up and down the street. They go all over the place. Where the where my studio used to be was the uh, was the uh, rum runner side of town, and there's tunnels all from there to various rich houses in the rich in the rich house na neighborhood. To uh, to their basements, and they're big enough for people to walk through, and there's there's lights installed, just like you see, um, just like you see, uh, with the uh, people smuggling across the border. They got train stations, but they don't have a train station involved in this one. But uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty in depth. So yeah, it's been uh, it's been a lot of rain. But you know, you know, it, it's it's odd for us. You know, I know, I know they're used to. Uh, I know they are used to rain all across the country where they have, you know, spring. But we don't usually have spring here. Spring is kind of a new thing for us. I don't know what, I don't, not sure how to draw the states in. I know what Oklahoma, Texas, and Kansas, and Louisiana look like, but I'm not, is that Thala? Did Thala sneak in? Hi, Thala! Let me see if I can, hang on a minute, I need a, I need a photo reference. I'm not going to go too in depth on this one. We'll just have a little bit of Texas here. And we'll have a little bit of Oklahoma here, and a little bit of Kansas here, a little bit of Nebraska here, a little bit of Colorado here, a little bit of New Mexico here, a little bit of Arizona here, a little bit of California here, a little bit of Nevada here, a little bit of Utah there, a little bit of Wyoming there, a little bit of Idaho there, a little bit of Oregon, oh, I guess Oregon is supposed to go all the way up to the water, isn't it? A little bit of Washington there, a little bit of Montana, let's see, Washington does this, Montana does this, Montana, Wyoming. There's Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, Minnesota. Well, I almost got the lakes right. 
There's a lake there and a lake there, a lake there. We don't really care about these states over here. None of these states over here really matter. <laughs> Woo. All right. And then up here we've got, you know, Canada. And down here we have Medco. Yeah, I think Cuba's down here somewhere. I don't care. That looks like a map. Okay, let me dry the ink real quick so I can color on it. Watch, watch me watch me out. Hi, Deporty. A little bit of Monica in my life, a little bit of Nectar in my song, a little bit of readers that I need, a little bit of readers that I need. Alright, now we need to obscure it. What color is this? I don't know how spray paint gets all over everything in the studio. Do, 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 do. Hello. A little bit of this. Oh, look, I've got gray. I don't normally just use gray. Let's try that. It's going to be too gray, though. Let's put a little purple in it. Yeah, so we don't usually get spring, though. So, I mean, it's kind of nice to be able to have... You know, weather. Oh, yeah, you did. Mika's in the audience telling people that they, they missed me singing like a virgin. Yeah. Yeah, you did. You missed it. It's over. What is it, dog? What's got you? What's got you barking? Okay, Kelly, have fun. Goodwill's the place to be. Kelly's in the chat room saying her son's making her go to Goodwill. It's a good place to be. Like those little rain cloud things that they have on the weather. You can't tell. You can't see. It's too small. I didn't even give you any warning that time. Just straight. What do you want? What do you want? Just straight to the loud noise. Oh, no, she wants me to feather. She can get out. We're on the back porch. She feels disabused. She feels like she's not getting enough attention. She can get out. But I'm talking. There's pigeons outside. Can you hear the pigeons?
Can't talk. Fussy brushing. Hang on just a minute. I'm gonna glaze. I'm almost done with this background. <laughs> like a virgin. Again. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that's, that's like that line from Friends when Chandler tells him he thinks his virginity's growing up growing back. <laughs> like a virgin. Again. Alright. That's enough of that nonsense. I'm going to glaze the rest of this. I'm going to, especially over here in this drought area, because California still have a drought. I'm just going to glaze that orange. Just because I think we need some more color over there. And I think there's still drought down here in Mexico. West Texas, these areas over here have a little bit of drought going on. Where else? Is it drought anywhere else? I don't think so. Pretty much green everywhere else, isn't it? Until you get up here in the great white north. Where I think it's still snowing. You guys. You remember last week I told you I was going to be in that speed painting competition again? <laughs> I guess I have to get used to drawing the more uh, essence of, drawing and painting essence of. Trivia question. Do you guys know what the southernmost state in the United States is? Who knows what the southernmost state of the United States is? <laughs> this background has absolutely nothing to do with anything else. Let's set it aside and let's do what's on your easel. Nope. Kia, the southernmost state of the United States, Alaska. Alaska is the southernmost state in the United States. The islands of Alaska come down below Texas. All right, so let's uh, let's set this aside and let's do what's on your easel. I know all kinds of trivia. That's all, pretty much all I'm good for. It's trivia. What's on your easel? What's on your easel? What's on your easel today? Okay, so let's see what is on your easel. I think this is probably going to be the shortest easel ever. I don't, I don't know if it's true or not either. It's something I've been told my whole life about Alaska being the southernmost state. Look it up. Somebody look it up while we're while we're pulling up the easels. Boy. I got an easel from Kelly. I got an easel from the sexy redhead Darcy. Where are all my other easels? Nobody else had an easel? I thought I didn't have any easels. Okay. So the sexy redhead Darcy sends in, it says cat, and she didn't give me any information, so that means I get to make it up. 
which is funny to me. No, you don't have to apologize. I'm just going to harass you. Uh, so, here's a smoothie card with a cat on it. We need to zoom out. Here's a smoothie card with a cat on it. And then, Stinchy Braird, Pumpkin Soup, Guacamole, Time Peas, and Autumn Fire colors on there. And some words. She stamped some words on the cat. You know, I'm already enthralled. It's a cat. Selected lots of smaller stamps, leaves, and borders, and stamped them with fresco paints. Oh, Rain, did you look that up? Rain, Rain's in the chat room saying that uh, Hawaii is the southernmost state. Did you look that up? And then she trimmed out the cat so that it looked more like a cat. How does what work, DeForty? Forty asked how that works. And then she doodled around all the stamped images with a black pen. Ooh. Chevrons, leaves, snowflakes, suns and moons, green stars, pink hearts, and yellow diamonds. Alright, painted another piece of card black and glued it onto the back and cut it out, leaving a small border. So, okay, so Rain looked it up. She said Hawaii. Okay, of the, of the continental United States, which is the southernmost state then. Is that still Alaska? Because I've heard that my whole life. So, you can tell we're having in-depth conversations in the chat room. So, look at the kitty. Here's some of the stamps that she used. The nose is one of these stamps from uh, the thistle flower. And she added some whiskers. I really need to show you these stamps. Darcy, our sexy red out of Darcy, makes these stamps, designs these stamps, and sends them off. And paper artsy turns them into, into stamps. Okay, so I've been lied to all my life because now they're saying that Florida is the southernmost state. I've been lied to my whole life. They told me, I hear I, you can't trust me on trivia anymore. I would have lost Trivial Pursuit. I feel bad. And she added some blue background. Here's a close up of the face. Of course, they could have lied to you too on the internet, but it's more than likely I was lied to. <laughs> Just, you can't trust me on Trivial Pursuit. But you know what? I would be I may not be good at Trivial Pursuit, but I would have been good at Balderdash. So here's her pretty kitty. Where'd Darcy go? As a former geography, I can tell you that that does not make sense. I was told, uh, Cole Roby, I was told that the, the islands, I've always been told that the islands of Alaska are what is sitting down south, further south. But, you know, again, you know, I graduated from a rural school also. I'm just going to quit talking about trivia, that's all. But I would be good at Balderdash. I would really be good at Balderdash. Okay, so that's what the sexy red-headed Darcy... I'm going to show you this. There's Darcy's cat. There's the sexy red-headed Darcy's cat. I'm just going to leave that there for you. All right. Uh, so that's Darcy. And then Kelly sent in, what Kelly sent in? Kelly Burns sent in, do, 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 an art journal page. Ooh, look at there. I've been 50, I know, it happens. Look at there, Kelly Burns got an art journal page. All the different shapes in the background, and she's got the face and stuff on here. I like that. Now, 
Nice. Very nice, Kelly. Is Kelly still here? No, she went to good. That Kelly went to Goodwill with her, with her uh, son. Okay, so I think those were the only entries I had. Uh, yeah, everything else is something about male enhancement. So those are the only entries that I had for what's on your easel. Uh, and then I'm going to show you a little bit about what I've been working on. And when I did the burlesque thing, when I did, because uh, I'm a burlesque dancer, you know, when I went to the, uh, when I went to the Dr. Sketchies, uh, I s stopped in Walmart and I picked up this little Crayola doodle pad because it was a dollar and, it, and it's newsprint. It's just newsprint, just like you, would, and, it, and it was a dollar and for little cheap daily sketches, this is, this is perfect because I don't, I don't feel like I'm wasting any, any material by doing this. But you'll remember I, I did the, uh, I did the, uh, the sketches from Dr. Sketchies. Well, I have continued on um, after, Dr. S after Dr. Sketchies. Do, 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 that was a Dr. Sketchies. After Dr. Sketchies, I went on to uh, start, I went back to getting models off the internet because there's no shortage of models on the internet to make up. And, and, and mostly because they won't let me uh, the wife won't let me bring figure models back to the hotel room. So I've been practicing figure drawing with models off the internet. But that's not the really exciting thing. For me, the really exciting thing, the one I really, really want to show you about, is uh, Jeanette Jobson from uh, Illustrated Life. She's in Nova Scotia. No, no, she's not. She's in Newfoundland. I'm sorry, she's a Newfie. Um, she does this thing where she does uh, uh, value sketches every morning while she's drinking coffee. And she did a blog post about it. Every morning while she's drinking coffee, she does these value sketches. And uh, I was impressed by that. You know, I'm sitting here thinking, you know, well, every day she just grabs three random objects off of her shelf and she does these value sketches. And that's how she warms up her day while she's drinking coffee before she, before she goes off to create this fabulous art. And I thought, you know what? That would be a great habit to get into. And for the last several weeks, I thought, I should get into that habit. I should get into that habit of just doing some value sketches every day. Every day, I ought to just do some value sketches. And you know, I overthought it. And and every, every time it's like, oh, well, I just don't have anything to do value sketches on. I, you know, there's nothing exciting. I have, there's no way to get, just get three random objects and do value sketches. Value sketches. So what I did uh, Sunday while I was at the airport on my way to North Dakota, uh, I'm walking around. I have four hours to kill, right? I'm walking around the airport. There's a toy store in the airport because, you know, kids cry. And... One of the things, and that's why there's bars right next to it, too, because, you know, kids cry. Uh, one of the things they had at the airport were these tubes. And if you're unfamiliar, this one is pirates. They're tubes. It's a tube. It's a tube. It has a little spinning globe on the top of it. It is a tube of... This one is a tube of pirate stuff. That's a girl pirate, by the way. You can tell because she's a ginger. And, you know, barrels with gunpowder and, and cannonballs and fuse rope. Can't see it. Anyway, it's a whole tube of different of different pirate stuff. And, and I saw this one, and I thought, you know, that'd be, that'd be perfect for doing little sketches of. But there, there weren't enough skeletons and stuff. So then I saw this one, which is also pirate stuff and it's, it has these little pirates like this in it. Arr. but then it has this whole army of the damn thing and so I couldn't I walked back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and then finally I just realized hey I'm an adult with my own money I don't really have to decide which one I want so I got them both and then I thought you know what I'll just get, get, start collecting these because they have different ones. They have like birds and uh, and airplanes and cars and and dolphins and and sea life and there's a whole bunch of them. Look up tube T O O B. They're from uh, Safari. And there's a sticker over it. Safari Ltd. is who puts them out. You can't see it. It'll be blurry. It'll look like somebody licked the camera. Safari Ltd. is who puts them out. And it's tube T O O B. Look them up. They have 
hundreds of different collections. And I thought, wow, how great would that be every payday? Just go buy one, get a big jug of them, and then just turn it upside down, dump out three, and draw them. And so that's what was one of the things that was, was exciting for me on my easels because there I was at the airport uh, doing value sketches of pirates. Right? Arr. And so... Wee. And so every morning, I've gotten up and I've just done a value sketch of pirates. And it's, it's been kind of fun. And it's made me want to do more. <laughs> the hooker and pep tube, Dave. Really? Michaels and Hobby Lobby do carry them. Yes. Uh, and Michaels has them for, if, if you have a Michaels, the Michaels in, in, uh, uh, here in Oklahoma, they had them for like 10 bucks. So, but yeah, I've just been doing, I've just been doing value sketches every morning. Of, of pirates. So that is what was on my easel. That is what was on your easel. If you would like to be a part of what's on your easel, just send an email to blade at artisticbiker.com with the subject line easel and we'll use your works to inspire other people to do stuff because that's what this is all about. So yeah, just send an email, blade at artisticbiker.com with the subject line easel. And we'll uh, we'll we'll get them online. And and I didn't get the newsletter out this week, but normally uh, we try to get them in the newsletter so that we can show them off and people can look them out. But I had some internet issues in North Dakota, so we didn't we didn't get the. Uh, I know I suck. Anyway, that said, um, this is not quite dry, so we're gonna dry this just a little bit. We'll take a little break and we'll be right back. Oh, thanks, APG. Yeah, you know we don't really go anywhere. Oh, we've missed you, Athala. I love it. Athala uh, has captured a lot of my sayings as a script, and she runs, she'll run the script. Whenever I, especially if I forget to say something, like can't talk arting, she'll be sure and get that in for me. <laughs> I love it. I've always envisioned this to have uh, catchphrases like Rocky Horror Picture, where you guys would go, here comes the hair dryer. Take your hair flugs out. I love my brush pen. If you can't tell, if I've never, if you've never said it before. However, I'm so incredibly right-handed, it's disgusting. You know, I can only occasionally use my left club over here to hold stuff still while I work. You would think that I would have started on this side and come across so that I didn't have to put my hand in wet paint and wet ink. Thunder roll, dun dun dun, and the thunder rolls, dun dun dun, dun dun dun, dun. the thunder rolls, and the lightning strikes, and the love grows cold on a sleepless night. Sorry, sorry everyone, got carried away.
How are we doing on time? Oh my goodness, it's already 7.22. All right. Let me dry that real quick, then we can get on with the actual page. Oh, rain. I videoed it. It's on the interwebs. It's on the YouTube. I had pizza for the last two nights and breakfast this morning. I'm, I'm kind of pizzaed out, but thanks anyway. But I'll take the beer. It's on a long ego. You may have to skim through quite a bit, but it's on the 90 minute one. So basically, it's just take a basically it's just take a water brush. Fill it with ink, put some wax on the threads, seal it up. nice and subdued. All right, that'll play well for us. All right, let's get some indigo going since I don't have any indigo made up. Remember when I used to make indigo up in advance and I would have a big tub of it? I need to do that. Maybe we'll do that. We'll be sure and do that next week. Um, the the uh, Ultimate Painting Championship that I'm going to next week is on Friday. It's not on, it's not on um, Thursday, so I probably won't broadcast it. I may. It'll depend on if I can come up with a uh, if I can come up with a uh, GoPro or something like that. But I may not broadcast that because just because uh, uh, well, it's to be on a Friday, and I don't want to. And one, I don't want to interrupt somebody else's broadcast, and two, what is? I swear my I turned my mail off. I thought I turned my mail off. Why is my thing still acting like I'm getting mail? Okay. So get a little indigo going here. That may be too much black for my indigo, but Try that real quick.
Did you guys see, because of the rains we've had, where'd that brush go? Because of the rains we've had, did you guys see how many, how the, uh, what's going on with all the snakes and stuff around here? Did you guys see the video of the, uh, of the DJ that stepped on a snake? That's pretty wild, right? We talked about that last week, though, didn't we? I'm pretty sure we talked about that last week. Guy was just traipsing along. Texting. Stepping on snakes. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. It's not nearly opaque enough. What has happened to my cups over here? There we go. Not nearly opaque enough. Probably going to have to go through with some white first. Yeah, DJ Snip. DJ stepped on a snake. He was walking along. Walking along uh, text messaging. Looking at his phone, you know. And next thing you know, he steps on a snake. He's, the, he's a DJ at, at the uh, local skating rink. And my kids have skated in that skating rink. I have skated in that skating rink. I have skated in that skating rink. All right, I'm going to have to dry that so I can paint on top of it. Did you guys not see this? Did you guys not see that video, really? out if you haven't seen it.
Riveting. Riveting entertainment while I pull this up. Oh, come on. Here we go. Check this out. As you can imagine, it was all caught on surveillance camera. Here's Nancy Chen with that story. A man bitten by a snake as he approaches a building in Oklahoma, and it's all caught on camera. Surveillance video shows Tim Malone jumping in sheer panic as he realizes he stepped on a snake. The four-foot-long bull snake sinks its teeth in, then slithers away. We'll see little marks there. Malone has been a DJ at a skating rink for 20 years. This weekend, he was walking through the parking lot, phone in hand, not paying attention to where he was looking. Adrenaline took over, and I realized it was a snake, and I started kicking. Get it off. No hard feelings for Malone, though, who helped <laughs> release the snake nearby. He thinks it was just trying to escape the Oklahoma floodwaters. Trying to get somewhere dry, maybe, I don't know. It was rain. It had been raining all day. Bull snakes may bite, but they are not venomous. In the newsroom, Nancy Chen, 7 News. Just... So, yeah. Uh, snake. You know, you're just walking along snake where there's not usually a snake, right? And who needs that in their life? Did you guys see the video? Did I go to the, did I not go to the right window? Ah sorry. Sorry everyone. There goes the snake. On surveillance camera. Here's Nancy Chen. We don't have to watch the whole thing again. A man bitten no. by a snake as he approaches a building in Oklahoma, and it's all caught on camera. Surveillance video shows Tim Malone jumping in sheer panic as he realizes he stepped on a snake. Yeah, we don't have to watch the whole thing again. But seriously, you know, not after a body break. <laughs> Yeah, you just walk along minding your own business and, you know, snake. Right, that's probably dry enough for our purposes. So, yeah, you know, they're... They're just trying to escape the weather. They're just trying to get out of... Just trying to get out of the flood zone, right? You can't fault them for that. Can't... Can't be mad at the snake. A little snake just trying to get a little just trying to get warm and dry everybody wants to be a little warm and dry and Everybody just wants to be a little warm and dry. That's the whole reason. That's the whole reason I went north. Because it was rainy here. And I was trying to get up there where I could get dry. Alright, let's fussy brush for just a little bit. This needs more purple.
on her way to work one morning on the path alongside the lake. A tender-hearted woman saw a poor half-frozen snake. His pretty colored skin had been all frosted with a dew. Oh, well, she cried, I'll take you in and I'll take care of you. Take me in, oh tender woman. Take me in for heaven's sake. Take me in, tender woman. Sighed the snake. How are we doing on time? Oh, we have plenty of time. I can slow down. Ooh. Drop your brush. Make flop opportunities. Have you ever seen? I know. I know many of you that have been around for a while, the regulars, have seen me. Have seen the uh, Bill Bill Flowers, the snake artist. Have you ever seen how much? detail that man, how much time that man spends doing each individual scale of the snakes that he paints. And he paints them in like Celtic knotwork. If you're not familiar, go check out Bill Flowers, the snake artist. He doesn't only paint snakes. He's a, he's a, a conservationist is his primary goal. He uses his art to promote uh, awareness of the conservation, uh, for conservation. And uh, anyway, he, he paints, he paints snakes, he paints Tasmanian devils, he paints, uh, Lately, he's been doing like sharks and octopus. So, if you get a chance, go check him out. He's a, he's a friend of mine. He's been in my studio. And we went to the uh, Wichita Mountains and I helped him catch, I, I helped him sketch his first live rattlesnake in Oklahoma. Then he went to uh, Colorado and he met somebody there who helped him find a bigger one. We would have found a bigger one too if we weren't being watched by the game wardens. But you know, you're not allowed to molest the wildlife at the reservoir. reservoir. that. Where's my paper towel? Yeah, I don't like that at all. Oh, 
Oh, I do kind of like that. Let's do that. Yeah, do kind of like that. that so yeah when i went up north it kind of felt like the the snakes that were escaping the the rain by moving to higher ground but you know i actually but you know actually uh the rain followed me to north dakota Which was funny, because I thought I was being like, uh, I thought I was being like the snakes moving to higher ground, but I was actually being more like St. Patrick leading the leading the storm clouds out of Oklahoma. They were all thankful for the rain. And I was all, you know, you're welcome. But now they have to mow. Can't talk writing. Ice cream! Can you guys hear the ice cream truck? Ice cream! Alright. Yeah, nobody likes when snakes sneak up on them. Let me dry this a little bit and then we'll add some highlights. Oh 
yeah, the links are turned off. No, nope, that's not what I'm Nope, that's not how it's done. Here. I know how to do this. Hey, Carrie? Wait, where's Carrie? Oh, Carrie fell off. What's the command to turn the links on? Does anybody know? Gary's gone, Darcy's gone. Does anybody know the does anybody know the command to turn the links on? How it, what the how to type that into Ustream to make them turn turn the links on? <laughs> hey, did, has anybody seen Carrie? Calling it done. Poor blade. Dave had to leave. What happened? No, it's in whose settings? It's in my settings. And let's see. Ice cream! Um, no. I'm not using the uh, Ustream chat. I'm using ice. I'm using ice chat. So. So I can't see how to I can't see how to turn the links on. I took somebody's advice. I had a tongue.
There we go. You hear the ice cream truck too? All right, I'm calling that done. That that conveys the message that message I want to get. It's like let's try that. Let's try. Uh, we've got to be in the right place. Let's try mode minus u. Nope. It's not that. Um, hang on. Read it to us, Blade. Oh, yeah, I was going to highlight them real quick. And then I'll read it to you. If somebody in the meantime, if somebody wants to research how to turn the links on. Because after six years, I don't know how to do it. Okay. It says, I went to North Dakota like the other local snakes escaping the flooding by moving to higher ground. <laughs> so, there's our snake. I went to North Dakota like the other local snakes escaping the flooding by moving to higher ground. So that's what I wanted that's what I wanted to journal about this week. That's what I had in my mind. I don't know how to turn the links on. Did you guys see my pirate? Try links. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Exclamation point links. Nope. Nope, that doesn't work either. The Ustream bot. The Ustream bot turned the links on. Now turn now post your link, Paula. Or uh, Thala. 
I typed exclamation point links like Dave said, and the Ustream bot turned the links on. Woohoo! Curse you, Google. I also make these little commercials. Hey, we did this without a potty break. I'm proud. I'm impressed. I also make these little commercials. Did you guys see this one today? in the Artistic Biker Live Thursdays, 6.30 to 8 p.m. Central at artisticbiker.com slash ustream. that be the letter U, stream. Arr. So yeah, there's, you know, there's that. Well, the treasure chest was on top of the Blue Moon Fountain. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me this week. You know this is my favorite night of the week. When I get to art with my besties, I thought that the kids would be here by now and you would get some uh, virtual loving from the wife, but uh, apparently that wasn't in the cards for us. I look forward to this every week, though, when I get to art with my besties. Be sure and tune in next week. Same artistic biker time, same artistic biker channel. And peace out. Mwah. And then we dance. And then we dance until somebody says they see me dancing. Because this is how we know that we don't cut it off before the lag catches up. And that wife already sees me dancing. I think she's just saying that. I might. I think I want to dance for just a little bit more. On her way to work one morning on the path alongside the lake. A tender hearted woman saw a poor half frozen snake. Her pretty colored skin had frosted over with a dew. I will, she cried, I'll take you in and I'll take care of you. Take me in, oh tender woman. Take me in for heaven's sake. Take me in, tender woman, cried the snake.